hoisting one to Tom Grace. Phil Bennett inside his own 25. John Williams with him. Phil Bennett, as he did for the Barbarians against New Zealand. Glenn Shaw, the prop forward. Now Shaw really can run. John Taylor, the flanker, tackled by Mike Gibson, 10 yards out from the Irish 25. Dave Morris feeds Gareth Edwards, playing at standoff there. Edwards over the 25, and it could be a try for Shanklin. We've all been hoping for seven pitches, but uh, that kick by Gerald Davis there. Uh, give some idea of the difficulties for players if the ball is allowed to bounce. John Taylor. Phil Bennett. Edwards. Arthur Lewis. Inside to Gerald Davis. Davis, a great try for Gareth Edwards. make anything of this uh, good attacking situation. Maloney, McGann, oh that was the scissors move by Milliken. This is Slattery, they're only 10 yards from the Welsh line. Maloney to Gibson, Mike Gibson, can he make the line? Yes he can. was the championship season that Wales preferred to forget during their golden era. They came second to Ireland in the table, winning only one match, the one against Scotland. However, the season started on a high note, when at Cardiff, Pontypool's captain and flanker, Terry Cobner, scored a try on his debut. Still no scoring after 22 minutes of the first half. Wales, I think, will be desperately keen to get something on the board before half-time. Edwards to Bennett. getting the scrum five and this is a really good attacking position for Wales Edwards just writing the scrum he feeds having trouble but it's back to Bennett who's got men on the blind that's Williams it surely must be a try Williams must be in John Joe Williams with a quick reply for Wales to that early Irish lead, and that was a neat try. Phil Bennett with this penalty kick here at Lansdowne Road to put Wales back on turn should he kick it. Ireland still nine points to six in the lead. Phil Bennett with the kick, there's the angle. It's low, it's good. Good heel, Rummer, the switch, that's a cross. Meeks, Meeks has got the score. And that was such a neat little move. Robinson jumping up the front, but it's a long one over the top. Davis does well to get it back. Edwards with the drop. It looks a beauty. Just coming up to injury time in this first half as Roma drops out again. Morris feeds back to Edwards.
plus 25. The ball back from Spengler. The drop by Roma. Is it going to carry this time? It does. Neely, Webster, Old, inside to Evan. Evan with a blistering pace. Upley's with him. What a great move. He gives it to Ralston. Ralston to Duckham. Duckham's got his goal. What a drive! This is David Duckham to throw. Ralston against Delmi Thomas in the middle. And Ralston got a hand to it. A kick through there by Melvin Davis. He could score. began the 1975 championship season at the Parc des Princes in Paris. The Welsh had six new caps, including the two centres and the fly half position. And when Graham Price and Charlie Faulkner joined Bobby Windsor, it meant that the whole of the Pontypool front row were now playing for Wales. Selectors made one other important and effective change too. They gave the captaincy to Mervyn Davis. It was to be another championship season for Wales. Bastia and Estev for France. That's to Edwards. Looks for the drop. Looks and this could be a sensational try. And Benick it was who gathered that loose ball. Just about five yards from the Welsh line as Windsor throws. Wheel palms for Edwards. Edwards in a lot of trouble. Just a yard short. This is the ball France wants in a dangerous attacking position for Wales. And they have it. Farouk drives the long reverse. Fed on beautifully by Wales. 3-1 situation here. Surely a try for Tafani. Tafani going into the corner. Magnificent covering tackle. John Bevan it was who got across then. A certain try he saved then. Nine minutes to half time. Seven points all the scoreline. Buffelli, Edwards, in fact gathering it, Bevan to Gravel, Gravel trying to run outside, Bethan, Fenwick to Gerald Davis, cutting beautifully inside, up to the French 25, support from Mervyn Davis, can he make the line, Codner's going to get there, that was classic rugby for Wales. Good palm to Edwards, Bevan, Gravel, Fenwick and JPR Williams coming fast into the line. Gerald Davis chasing the kick through. Tafari's missed it. Gerald Davis is there. This could be a score for Davis. He's got it. Well setting up these attacking positions with real aplomb. Lukes with the throw just two yards out from the French line. Faulkner has it. Worked back by Trevor Evans. Edwards is through in, in like a flash and he can He's taking it round under the post. Georges Senal. Alain Paco. Inside the Strela to Esther. A last minute surge by the French. Farouk's Romer, what a great pickup. Dort for Bertrand. Bertrand showing some of his pace as a winger. Today, of course, in the centre. Buffelli takes it on into the Welsh 25. In goes Sinal, but Wales win it. Trevor Evans. Gareth Edwards, the kick charged down. That's for possession for France. The pass to Dort from Bertrand going to ground, but still France in possession. Luke's despairingly back around. The charge downfield from Graham Price. And 
Christ, this could be a dramatic score. They'll never believe it in Pontypool. From the tap end of the ground behind the goalposts, Alan Martin, long, straight, and far enough. We are midway between the English 25 and halfway. Wheeler throws. That's the English 25. Beautifully tailored ball for Wales. Edwards to Bevan. Oh, and a lovely run. This is by Gravel. A chance for Fenwick. JJ Williams is bound to score. What a try. Alan Martin. Little stab. Dead straight. What a good kick. Three minutes into injury time. They're ahead 10-0 at the interval. Windsor throws, Mervyn palms, Edwards to Bevan, a chance there for Gravel, right in front of those English posts, can they work it clear from Falconer, Bevan along the line to Williams, and it's a chance for Gerald Davis, and what a try. That's how important it is, because this throw in right on the Welsh line, Bobby Windsor, of course, will have to be very careful with this one. Going for the shot. Oh, it's a score! It's a score for Horton, the Mosley lock forward. His first try for England, this massive man from Mosley. One minute to go to the end of the match. Derek Quinnell palms, Alan Martin pucks it out of the air. Fennell walks it back, Edwards to John Bevan, to Fenwick, Bevan on the loop, John Williams the fullback. Still outside the English 25, Derek Quinnell, caught there by Nigel Horton. Fed out again to John Bevan, Bevan looking for support inside, gets it from Evans, Evans gives it to Alan Martin, there's a chance of a try here for Gravel, and it could be a try for Fenwick. and Steve Fenwick scores again for Wales. At Merrifield, Wales scored the only try of the match in front of a world record crowd of over 104,000 spectators. But it wasn't enough to stop Scotland winning from a drop goal and three penalties. Four minutes of injury time played. Gareth Edwards looking for the try. That's Gravel, the centre, Terry Cogner, John Williams, this is Gerald Davis, David Bell goes across, he out to Trevor Evans, but hard knocks it in, but it's a try for Wales. On the Irish 25-yard line meant for Keane, but over his head, Willie Duggan tries to clean it up. Wales getting that yard or two surge, Maloney has it, but loses it again. Second time he has it, trying to elude Windsor and Evans, runs into trouble. Bobby Windsor feeds to Edwards, looking for the gap, almost racing through, he does, he's going to get there. No abatement in this excitement. Nine points, Wales lead. Still they pressurise. Willie Duggan. The kick and rush Stanfield. JPR underneath. Gerald Davis. Twinkling feet. Terry Cobbler. Jared Edwards. Dummies to Martin. There's Martin. Cuts back inside to set it up again. Oh, this is so exciting. Jeff Wheel. Edwards. Bennett down the line, Berges, still Berges, held by McComb. 15 yards out, Edwards, three men outside, Bennett. Fed on from Cabal to Davis, he's going to score in the corner. The referee has given the try. 
So Phil Bennett with the penalty then. He struck that beautifully. Mervyn Davis tries to get the quick pass to Phil Bennett. Bennett's that elusive little run. JJ Williams, a bit of room to move. Winslow in support. Is he going to score like he did against Australia? It could be a try for Faulkner. Punty ball again. 20 yards out from the Irish line. The Windsor throws. Palmed by Mervyn Davis. Edwards feeds Bennett. Berges. Gravel. Cuts back inside. Berges in support. Five yards out now. Cobner has it. Feeds to Edwards. Bennett, there could be a try on here. JPR Williams with JJ outside him. Gibson covering. He can't hold it. It's another try. And JJ Williams has got what he deserved. Wales, I'm sure, if they did but know it, would love to score again and get this record for a match against Ireland. Ireland looking for the loose ball, but Windsor gets the boot to it. Gibson, unlike him, loosely. Tony Enter having to run, trying to salvage something. Straight though to JPR Williams, held by Tom Grace, fed on to Bennett. Here they go again. Gareth Edwards, he's got Berges inside. Berges cutting inside Gibson. Berges going for the line. Berges, it is all the way. And that is a new record for an international between Wales and Ireland. Could anyone have anticipated a Climax by Wales to their international season. One wonders now how they ever lost a game this year. Edwards reverse pass straight to Winnie Duggan. It's going to be an unopposed try. So there's some consolation in defeat. JPR Williams was destined to become the most capped player for Wales. His covering and tackling were earning him praise from rugby people throughout the world. And when the 1976 Grand Slam season began, he was to prove majestic against England, when Wales scored their highest points total ever at Twickenham. And the whole of Wales calling for a little bit extra here. It's England's put in Wales, probably opting for an eight-man shove or for a turn. It certainly is very dangerous for the English because there's that goal line you can see the rear feet um, Ripley's feet are only a meter away oh and it's a score there what a tragedy for the English but what a bit of quick thinking by Gareth Edwards Ripley trying to hold it in to catch someone offside Lampkowski straight back to Hignall a catch there by Gareth Edwards, and it was a penalty for a mile offside. Alan Martin from about 45, 45 metres. Martin hit it well, looks good, it is good. The first uh, bad pass from Lampkowski. Oh, great scrummage thrust by England. Nonetheless, from Melvin Davis to Edwards to Bennett to Fenwick. They've missed out. John Williams, the fullback. JJ, this is John Williams now. Can John Williams score his third try against England? Yes, he can. time Edwards goes to standoff now it's Bennett JPR the fullback is he going to get his second try oh what a killer blow for the Welshman JPR Williams the fullback scores the try that must sew it up for Wales charging on 
His strength eventually took him over despite a tremendous effort by David Beckham. That was a great try. And Senwick puts the finishing touch to it by kicking the conversion, his third successful kick of the day. The whole of the Welsh section of this crowd calling heave, heave. But a good heel there for Fisher. The ball squirting around and it's a nasty one, but it's a pick up by Phil Bennett. Across comes Ervin. Oh, and it's almost a try for Wales and it's been given. JJ Williams and Senwick were both there. Good heave by the Scots, but not good enough. Gareth Edward, but David Leslie, that was out of Ray Gravel. In goes David Shedden. Leslie was there as well. McGeeton. Back goes JJ Williams into his own heart. Being well behind the Welsh forward, Billy Steele there, JPR Williams as well. Melvin Davis watch it out to Trevor Evans. Back goes Andy Irvin. Up comes Steve Fenwick. This is Irvin. Oh, that was clever play because he saw the space. Across comes Melvin Davis. Back to Phil Bennett. Bennett caught there by Fisher. Picked on by McLaughlin. Gareth Edwards in his own 25. Tackled by Bigger. Out from McGeeton along the line to Fisher to Rennick. There's a chance here. Cranston out to McHart. Can Irvin get to the line? The referee has not yet made up his mind, but he's given the try. Alan Martin comes. Evans and Terry Kovner trying to work it clear. Good mauling there by the Welsh forward. Edward, Bennett, Gravel. They've missed out Fenwick to John Williams. John Williams over the 25. Caught again by Mike Bigger. But Wales in front of the Scottish post. Charlie Faulkner did well to lift the leg there and get it clear. Now it comes out. The wins up to Fenwick. Drop goal. And the referee hasn't actually given a signal, but it's over. Windsor number two trying to wrench it clear. Now it's Edwards to Bennett. Bennett the Gary Owen. Irvin in front of his own post. Fenwick coming up. Terry Kovner has it. The Welsh forwards in the great red mass once again. Back to Edwards. Phil Bennett. Gravel. Oh, beautifully on there. Gerald Davis with John Williams helping. And there's still 10 yards up. It's Trevor Evans. And Trevor Evans what he did against the Scots last year. Scotland scrummage under all kinds of pressure now as Edwards from a heel against the head by Windsor. Inside to Merlin Davis. Terry Kovner feeds. Trevor Evans. Fenwick. Caught by McGeeton but manages to turn. That's John Williams in there working as a mauling forward. Fed out again from Windsor. This is Edwards. Edwards now. He's done it again. Here's Phil Bennett with his chance of another record. On the Irish 10 meter line, Martin with one successful penalty already. Sporting jeers. Martin miscuing that line altogether. Willie Duggan feeds the kick pass down, and Gerald Davis could get a dramatic score. Very untidy line out, but winds are there to clean it up. Trevor Evans working it back to Edwards. Well played by him. Bennett. Another monstrous kick as Gravel races up. The mark called by Tony Ensa, but not given. Wales 15 metres out. 
if they can win it, which they have. They're in a fine attacking position. Bennett, the overlap, JPR Williams, out to Gerald Davis. He must score in the corner. That was a classic try by Wales. Wales now really beginning to assert themselves. Jeff Wheel driving through. Again, good possession. Edwards. Bit of space there, and Edwards. Will he get that record try? Has he got it? It's given. And the moment has come. Gareth Edwards with his 18th try, his fifth in five consecutive matches, to create a new Welsh try scoring record. So Wales, who scored 28 points against Australia, 28 against Scotland too, now with 28 against Ireland. Mervyn Davies, the captain, palms to Edwards. Bennett getting a lovely service now. Gravel bouncing off that tackle. It could be another try for Wales. Bennett, Bennett going himself. Oh, brilliant dummy to seal it surely for Wales. That was a fabulous try. So Phil Bennett celebrating a first Welsh major international try with the conversion. Another monstrous kick, producing them almost out of a hat. Bastia catches. French forwards working it to full. That's Avalu the wing. Quickly marked by Gerald Davis. Young Avaru, who's uh, already scored a very fine international try for France. Huge pass all the way along uh, to Gravel. Gerald Davis to Fenwick. Fenwick, that is Romo. Romo over the 22 meters line. He gives it to Gordon. It's a try for France. Wales cut the line out. Wins the throws. Alan Martin, but again, a bit of leaning in the line-out by Amber Norm. Bill Bennett, drawing it round. It's good enough. And Phil Bennett hoists his 200 points for Wales in all international matches. Windsor throws, Mervyn Davis palms, Price on the peel, the tackle by Reed. Price lays it back beautifully. Now it's out to Edwards. The feed there to Gravel, to John Williams, the fullback. Another tremendous tackle by Reed. Fed out from Alan Martin. Edwards, Gravel once again. This is out to Phil Bennett. There's a chance here for Fenwick. JJ Williams must score. Ten meters line. Gareth Edwards wanting the scrum absolutely square, as according to the law. Look how low the hookers' heads are there. But Windsor holding his own strike well. And again, a penalty for that time detaching too early. Yes, uh, not keeping his binding, coming off the scrummage and not retiring. Alan Martin with uh, this kick from the French 10 meters line. Not the easiest day for goal kickers. It looks a funny one, but it's not funny for the Frenchman. Remember, he's got 17 stone on to put into this one. Bastia. Oh. Well, he won't be pleased with that. That's Fennick. Up to Bertrand. Bertrand with another up and under. In comes John Williams. Bastia feeding out to Rameau. Rameau to Pekun. Pekun inside to Aguirre. Aguirre kicking on. There's a chance here for Avaru. Avaru has scored. The Frenchman turning. 
goes out there to Trevor Evans. He's caught by Strilla. This is the ball the Welshmen want now. But uh, they've had a hard fight, but it's Alan Martin out to Edwards to fill in it. But a penalty for offside at that mall. Fenwick. Within weeks of leading Wales to a Grand Slam, the Welsh captain, Mervyn Davis, was forced to retire from the game because of ill health. He'd been the most gifted of number eights and regarded by many as the best ever. So in 1977, the job of captain was to go to the player who had scored a remarkable 38 points in the Grand Slam victories, Phil Bennett. His ability as both captain and attacking outside half was to see him lead Wales to the 1977 Triple Crown. Against Ireland, it was Pontypool's Jeff Squire who took over the number eight position. But the Welsh victory was to be somewhat marred by the first ever sending off in an international match at Cardiff Arms Park. A few moments of very high drama and unexpected drama indeed at the National Stadium. And uh, certainly there had been no warning to the two sides. Mr. Santum taking very peremptory action. Here's Gibson, meanwhile, seeking to add to his earlier three points. That's a nice shot. Ireland goes six up. In the background, the scoreboard showing the deficit by which Wales trail, but they're now inside Ireland 22. And there could be another barging ruling against Martin. Moskeen, the culprit. This shot by Bennett, hopefully, from his point of view, to wipe out Wales's deficit. It's travelling, and it's arrived. Wales are on terms. It took Wales about this length of time in the first half to get close to Ireland's try line, and it's taken Ireland for an hour to get to this end of the field. Gibson's target then as he seeks to put the Irish back into the lead and manages to do so. Mike Gibson raises Ireland's total to nine. Wales then paying the price for taking the pressure off for just a few moments. That's all they played the rest of this half down in this part of the field. Edwards is shot for the midfield to run onto and put the forwards onside. It's a good position for Wales to run the ball. There's the narrow and the open side up here. Windsor feeding it inside to his vice captain, Trevor Evans. Gibson helped to hold him up. Wales rock well. Edwards, Fenwick. Yes, they knew the way was barred. Here goes Bennett from the broken play. Oh, Birch is with him. He can get it to Gallo Davis. Wonderful score by Gallo Davis, the first try of the afternoon. In the excitement of the last 10 minutes, quarter now, we've approached now to within three or four minutes of the final whistle, and still the lead to Wales is only one point. This game is not a safe one for the champions yet. Being sh sheltered by Squire and channeled away to Edwards. To Bennett, miss move to Fenwick. JPR wants his try! the season, the international season, with a try, as he did at Twickenham a year ago. Sparing a thought for the Irish, uh, the match not quite lost by them yet, but uh, they must feel a good deal happier about the quality of their youngsters than they have in the last couple of seasons when Wales have beaten them so heavily. Pinnell on the peel, hunting Gibson, and also it takes McElrath to bring him to ground, and Wales comfortably win them all. Fenwick looks at a drop goal, and it's out to second drop goal for Wales and it's a shot that lifts Wales' lead to 19 points to 9 McGrath swings it away to Gibson to McIlrath trying to run back to strength a pick up by McKinney Bennett, JPR Williams Gerald Davis Birch is still close at hand, so is Squire Wales are still in their own half 
Bircher running it away to Bennett. Bennett trying to pick up speed and go around Fury. He gives it to JJ Williams. Goes around Grace. Fenwick still nursing. Now it's JJ Williams against Wilson. And the win is Oh, that's a great goal. No, it's not given. And in the scintillating rugby at the end of this afternoon's encounter, the blemish on the early part of the game has, I think, been forgotten. There are two players sitting sadly in the shower room. And meanwhile, out here, the game rises to a noble climax. Gerald Davis scores away. Looking for support now. Burgess going to get a try on his table. Yes, this time he's made the touchdown. Oh, when you get a try on your debut for Wales, there's no feeling like it in the world. Try Burgess. Meant for Martin, and he gets it. And it was Quinnell, back to Edwards. Simon Wakes in his own 22. That's Hedno once more. And Alistair Hedno really having a very sound match here. He had his disappointments at Twickenham a fortnight ago. You can hear from the great surge of noise round the ground here that Wales very much in a powerful attacking position here. Windsor throws, Martin leaps, Edwards to Bennett, JPR Williams on the crash ball. He was tackled there by Utley. And that would have been a very handy ball for Wales to win because that's how close they were. This uh, wanted English front throw, Fran Cotton on this side, Peter Wheeler, Robin Cowling on the far side. They've uh, had considerable success this season. A good strike by Windsor. Gareth Edwards. And Slamon has to carry over, it'll be a five metre stomach. David Butcher up there very quickly. for Wales and it looks good and Quinnell is holding and it's Gareth Edwards has he done it again <laughs> Gareth Edwards sets another record with his 19th try in a major international for Wales you notice Alan Martin sticking up his inside arm in the same way that uh, Nigel Horton has done through most of this season but Horton won it that time. Young again, taking on the Welsh forwards, not throwing out any suicidal ball to his standoff. Alan Martin looking for support. Slamman got it back there to Cooper. JPR Williams under it. The switch there to Gerald Davis. Phil Bennett went on the dummy run. That's Gerald Davis. Oh, magic again. The little man with the twinkling toes. Down there went David Butcher. Bobby Windsor looking for Edwards. Actually out to JJ Williams. JJ Williams to Bennett. Great tackle there by Kent. Burgess with the fly kick. Master with the pickup. That's England's 10 metres line. Now it's young again. Beautiful pass to Cooper. JPR Williams. This is exciting stuff for these nasty bounces for him, but it's Butcher back in support. Butcher of Newport, almost up to halfway, out to Fenwick. Fenwick tackled by Dixon, so is Gerald Davis. This is tremendous stuff from those two sides. And about 15 metres from the English line. Martin, Edward, Bennett, along the line to David Butcher. Butcher half through, gives it to JPR Williams. Is he going to do it again? <laughs> JPR Williams scores his sixth international try, his fifth against England. You 
you can see that uh, the pitch is still just a little bit slippery on top drying out but uh, the foot marks there giving a clear indication and the welshmen have turned it but bigger riding on to the welsh 22 fought there by quinnell in goes number five mccard now it's morgan out to mcgeekin mcgeekin with a drop goal has it got the legs yes it is referee deciding that scotland were going forward and they've been given the put in Geekin on the dummy run, this is Rennick, clean through, Rennick out there to Edwin, can Edwin make the line? Oh, what a try! No wonder they're cheering because that was one of the great tries of this championship season. The whole of Murrayfield is absolutely alight at this stage. They, you can feel the excitement and the thrill going round the whole ground. Wales poised right in front of the Scottish post. Edwards switching to Phil Bennett. Fenwick. Fenwick to JPR Williams. There's danger here. It's going to be a try for JJ. That's another lovely try. Nine points all. Ten minutes of the second half gone. Madsen throws. McDonald pounds. Morgan to McGeekin, McGeekin to Bigger, Bigger taking them on, and again a good tackle by Burgess, Morgan once again, out to McGeekin, McGeekin, 